Hey guys, and welcome back to our channel. My name is Ruth, and today I'm going to be showing you how I built this feature wall as part of our one room challenge. We're in week six now, so it's almost over. This was one of the biggest pieces of the whole room, and I'm super pleased with how it turned out. So let me show you the details and how I built it, what I did wrong, and what you should do to have a better experience than I did. So stay tuned. Remember, if you like this video, to like and subscribe. For the slats, I decided on one by one boards. You can buy these already cut to size, but I decided to get one by six boards and rip them down to one by ones. The main reason for deciding to do it this way is cost. It is much less expensive to cut your own wood than to buy it the exact size you need it. In total, this probably took a couple of hours. If you have a table saw, you set your fence to the exact dimensions you need and rip it down and that's it. It's very easy, it just gets pretty repetitive. We ended up ripping down boards to get a total of 56 slats. One eternity later. To attach the slats to the wall, all you need is a brad nailer. I also tried putting construction adhesive on the back of one of the slats, but with the size of the slats being less than an inch thick, the construction adhesive just squished out the sides, so I decided that the brad nails would have to do. If one brad nail isn't enough to suck the slat into the wall securely, all you need to do is basically crisscross the nails, so you'll hold your nail gun at an angle facing one angle and then the next, all while pushing in the slat as you nail in the piece. I had a small block the exact size the spaces needed to be between the slats, although I would suggest having a larger piece of wood to wedge between the slats as you're securing them. I dropped this little block so many times, it'll just make it a lot easier if you can get a full piece of wood. is three quarter inch thick and um, so I subtracted the total width. So this is 62 inches wide. Each board is um, 0.75 inches and I have 56 boards. So 56 times 0.75 equals 41.5 or something like that. And then that gives me 21.5 of space needed total. And so I divided that in between how many spaces I'll have. So I started this board at the edge of the wall. And so that means that I will have 55 spaces to have one board on each end of the wall. Um, and so that equals out to 13, 30 seconds of an inch. And I just so happened to have a piece of scrap wood that measured just perfect. So I cut off this piece and this is the block I'm using in between each piece of wood to push them up together and then brad nail them to the wall. So I showed you how we ripped the boards down, but I didn't show cutting the boards to length. And that is because I cut them as I went. So every five or six boards, I would measure the height of the ceiling to make sure that they had a snug fit and they weren't too short or too long because most walls aren't perfectly the same size throughout. To save on time and because the ceilings are so tall, I started to attach a few boards at a time. So I would attach them at the bottom, about halfway up the wall, and then I would get on the ladder and attach the top. I didn't go too far to make sure that they didn't drift or anything like that. Another one of my mistakes that you can learn from is to cut the wood right before you need to use it. We cut the wood, I had all the intentions to complete this wall as soon as possible and then life got in the way and I didn't. So I would say to cut the slats 
the day before you use them at most. When we cut the slats, they were almost perfectly straight. The boards I got were really great and straight, but as the boards sat there in the garage, they started to warp and it made the whole process much more difficult when I was trying to secure them to the wall. Eventually. If you have some brad nails that didn't go all the way into the wood, then you can use this little tool called a nail punch. You rest it over the head of the nail and take your hammer and hit the end of the nail punch and that will push the nail all the way into the wood so that you can wood fill it and sand and make it disappear. We are going to be finishing up this feature wall. So all the wood slots are done. They're all nailed up. It's beautiful. I love it so much. And so now I'm going to be wood filling Oh, these little dang holes. There are so many. Um, I had to do doubles in a lot of places to make sure to suck in the board and everything. And so it's creating a headache for me right now at this moment. I've been avoiding it, but we gotta get this done. We only have a little bit left of the one room challenge and we're gonna do this. We're gonna do it. Let's go. Now I've shown you start to finish how to build a slat wall. I hope after watching this video, you feel confident in your ability to build one too. If you haven't seen the other parts of this one room challenge, they're worth a watch. So check them out on our channel and stay tuned for next week because I'm going to be refinishing a dresser to fit right down here. Don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll see you next week. Bye. Oh, Hi, Mama. Can you get that for me, Killian? Um, Can you get the Mama? Thank you. Thank you, baby. You're welcome.